Those of you that have been following along with my stuff for a little while now, I'm sure have spotted this in the background. Now this cart is a mid-70s Margay racing chassis. It's got a KT100 on it, and it is in need of a full restoration. This engine is definitely in need of some work. Everything in this package has been sitting for quite some time. It's all full of corrosion, rust. First step of this whole process is sending off my engine to Tacoma, Washington to be totally rebuilt, refreshed, gone over entirely. It's going to be making about 15 horsepower when it's done, which is pretty standard for a KT100. I'm not going to be running any crazy alcohol or methanol or anything like that. Just simple two-stroke mix. Keeping this stock exhaust that I have, well, not exactly stock, but it's the one I've got, so I'm going to keep it, keep it period correct. While the engine's off being built, the cart itself needs a ton of work. We're going to get it stripped all the way down to the frame, stripped down to bare metal and pre-powder coated, re-chrome all the bars, make it look just like it was brand new in 1970. Then we're going to get all new bearings, bushings, anything that can be serviced is going to be totally replaced. We're going to have this thing driving like it's brand new. By then, that engine should be back in our hands, ready to put on the cart, we can get it out for some testing, get this thing running real nice by next spring, and then next summer we'll go have a ton of fun out on the local track. Currently the steering is pretty nice, it's not too sloppy or anything, and it's got this sweet original F1 style steering wheel. This chassis comes with an adjustable steering column so you can actually raise and lower the wheel depending on the driver height. My braking system is all Hurst Earhart, original 1970s running gear. Currently the rear caliper is entirely seized. It only allows the axle to move as much as the keyway allows. This caliper is totally seized to those pads, but that's okay. We'll get that all stripped down, sonic cleaned, all new O-rings will be installed, new brake pads can still be bought on eBay today. So we're going to have no problems there. We're going to redo all my linkage system because it appears that this cart was set up for kids. I'm not sure if this was a cadet cart because currently it does have a small seat on it but all of the pedals have these relocation brackets, which is just a piece of angle iron with some holes drilled in it. The original pedal mounting holes are still there, so I believe all I have to do is relocate my pedals, get those all polished back up, and then I can make new linkages, extending them out to their original length. Let's take a trip back to 1977 when this cart first appeared on the track. The Margay Panther X Junior chassis was a game changer for the Junior Racer by providing a few features to fit most young drivers. Margay understood karting is expensive and they didn't want to push people away from the sport with such a high entry point. With the adjustable steering column and multi-position pedals, this cart could comfortably carry a driver up to 5 foot 6. Although it was originally marketed towards 8 to 13 year olds, I think I'll fit just fine on this frame being only 5 foot 10 myself. Now let's get back to the action. See the piston in there? Keep it nice and clean. I see a little bit of wear on the piston, but not no crazy scoring or anything.
So I got my engine all boxed up. It's ready to be sent off and rebuilt. Now we're gonna move over to the cart. I've got this dirty old mock-up seat here that we can throw on in the meantime to see if I can fit. We can see if the adjustable steering column works, raise it up and down, see if my legs will fit. And then we can also make sure that my feet aren't gonna reach past this bar here because that's gonna tell us if moving the pedals back is gonna work. Everything's really good with the seat off. There's no rust that was hidden or anything. Lower seat tiles look really good and stuff, so that's good news. This on the other hand, seems like it's going to be a tight squeeze. Still leaves plenty of room for the engine though, that's kind of good. Yeah, it seems like it fits in there pretty good. The steering might need to be adjusted, but... Yeah, I'll have to move it. Oh, the leg length is good too, that'll be good for the pedal. But yeah, let's see if this adjustable steering column works, because that's pretty low. Mm -hmm. If it was up here, that'd be a little better, but... Yeah, that's going to leave me plenty of room for the engine. That's good. And it fits with those seat mounts so you don't have to refabricate them. Yeah, we'll just have to bend a couple tabs. That's yeah. no problem though. Oh. kind of stuff because right now it hangs up on these linkages I see, I see. yeah everything was very poorly relocated so all the linkages kind of hit each other and stuff but that's so cool that it was adjustable though this would not fly in like any regulation today <laughs> all right all right jump into the back of the cart here I'm a little concerned about this brake rotor because it is kind of welded to my brake pads, which is what's not allowing my axle to rotate at the moment. But it appears that all my bearings are good if I were to free this up. What I'm gonna do actually real quick is just undo these caliper bolts here. That way I can separate the caliper because this is only a one piston caliper. So there's no hydraulics over on this side of it. So I can just take that off. And then it one can show us if we do have any leaks, which I don't think so because it builds good brake pressure in the line. And then two, we can see if our axle actually spins. Success. 
So yeah, that's a good sign. Because all that means is that our caliper was all seized up on there. And this rotor got way too rusty to spin, but I think we can find a little more modern rotor anyway that'll, well, we'll see. I want to keep this original 70s look, so if I find one that's a little too modern with all the venting and roting and uh, venting and slotting and all that kind of stuff, then I'm not going to use it. But if I can just find a nice clean plate like this, I'll probably use it. I'm super excited about this, especially now that I got it rolling. But the steering works enough that, you know, makes me happy. And we got a roller, so we got a lot of work to do, a lot to look forward to. But I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned.